Stephen A. Smith, what you hearing? Well, obviously, uh, I'm hearing the intent is to for him to opt out because he opts out. Ultimately, he's in a position to re-up for a max deal, uh, extending for a few years. We don't know what LeBron, but what I can tell you is this. One of the things that everybody has uh, uh, missed out on is the, uh, I don't want to call it relationship or whatever, because I don't think they have much of one. They have business partners. Uh, obviously, they have a relationship in that regard. But this notion that Dan Gilbert and LeBron James still get along so exceptionally well, uh, that's not what I've been hearing. One of the things that I've been hearing as, the, as, as this period closes in, Max, is that uh, Dan Gilbert, according to a couple of owners I've spoken to and a, and a few executives I've spoken to, Dan Gilbert is, is known for not being particularly fond of LeBron James. He doesn't mind the thought of LeBron James leaving at all. A matter of fact, I had one executive tell me, excuse me, I can't wait until he leaves because, uh, you know, he'll get my, I'll get my team back. This is something that Dan Gilbert has actually echoed. So we got to take that into consideration. This is, not, this is a person that views himself as being stuck with LeBron James as opposed to somebody salivating and craving that he stays. LeBron James is fully aware of this. He doesn't care because he didn't come back for Dan Gilbert to begin with because the many, many times that I've spoken to folks in LeBron James camp, and when I say that, I'm not talking about just a Rich Paul or a Maverick Carter. I'm talking about family members, friends, confidants, former teammates, etc. Everyone you speak to, Max, tells you that letter that Dan Gilbert wrote in 2010 when LeBron announced to the world that he was taking his talents to South Beach, yes, LeBron is a grown-up, and he was big enough to get beyond that and think about a bigger picture, meaning Cleveland, Ohio, the Northern Ohio area, and what those folks mean to him. So he that usurped whatever level of vitriol he he held for Dan Gilbert. But that's only as it pertained to LeBron James and to a lesser degree to Rich Pauls of the world who's all about business. There's a whole bunch of other folks around LeBron James that that letter will never go away. They don't like Dan Gilbert. They don't respect him for what he said. They don't want LeBron James to remain in Cleveland playing for him, allowing him to profit off of the greatness of LeBron. But this notion that Dan Gilbert is going to be some depressed puppy in the event that LeBron James elects to leave, you would be sadly mistaken. He does not particularly like LeBron James. He just understands it's good business to deal with LeBron James. And who knows whether or not that's going to impact the decision that LeBron James can meet. Last point, Molly, yeah. because he could elect to leave. Or LeBron James could turn around and say, you know what, the hell with him. I love the notion of staying just because it'll get on his damn nerves. Plus, it'll serve my purpose of still wanting to remain in this area. We don't know what mm -hmm. he's going to do. I think he's going to opt out, but it remains to be seen. Okay, so just to be clear, I want Max to get in now, but Stephen A., you're hearing that Dan Gilbert would actually like LeBron to leave. Yeah, he doesn't care. Okay. That, that would be a better way of putting okay. it. Okay, he doesn't care He doesn't care particularly care. All right, Max? Um, Stephen A., I have a question for clarification. Your sources that you feel are good sources, correct me if I'm wrong, have told you that correct. Dan Gilbert said if LeBron left, he would get his team back. Dan Gilbert would get his That's team a, back. That, that Those is, words came out of Dan Gilbert's exact, mouth? That is an exact quote from my sources that said that Dan Gilbert said that. Yes. I don't think LeBron is staying. And I don't think LeBron is staying because... Given Dan Gilbert's ownership and his general incompetence as an owner, um, you know, LeBron would lose to Kyrie in the playoffs next year. Stephen A., the scenario you said would be the nightmare scenario for him this last season, will come to pass this upcoming season. The Celtics are positively loaded and can win the championship, yes, against Golden State or anyone this upcoming season. Without making a deal right now, they are that, they're going to be that good next year. They are a legitimate threat. So LeBron's got to get out of there before they get steamrolled by the Celtics. Not to mention if Philadelphia gets someone, Cavs could be in trouble too. Um, I want to address Dan Gilbert's, if in fact it is true, that he said he would get his team back and he would like LeBron to leave. Um, I want everyone to be clear about this. The Cavs wound up with LeBron James in the first place because they were the worst team in basketball under Dan Gilbert's ownership. And there was no hope in sight. It wasn't a plan. We're going to stink and wind up with LeBron James. They tried to be good and stunk. They stunk. Bad enough that they got the number one overall pick in the draft. 
And that guy came to the Cavs and without putting a team around him, dragged them, kicking and screaming, to the finals through an Eastern Conference, which at the time was actually a little bit underrated. A very good Pistons team was still around, a, uh, uh, an Orlando Magic team with Dwight Howard. There was stuff going on in the East. No, it wasn't the West, but that was something to get that team to the finals because it was not, it was maybe the worst team in finals history, certainly in the conversation. The other team in the conversation may have been this last Cavs team that LeBron also dragged there. At any rate, LeBron left because Dan Gilbert was incompetent. He couldn't put a team around him. So LeBron took matters into his own hands, went to South Beach. Dan Gilbert penned that letter, Stephen A., crying and complaining, which he did again with the killed the Chris Paul deal to the Lakers. Oh, the smart teams are taking advantage of the dumb teams like this one. Please make them stop. And David Stern undid the Chris Paul trade to the Lakers. Um, and in that time, when Dan Gilbert said that they would win a, champi a championship before the so-called king, the, so the actual king, LeBron James, went to four straight finals winning two. And the Cavs under Dan Gilbert, who by his own admission were trying to be good, trying to beat the Heat to a championship, were the worst team in basketball every single year. So bad that they drafted in LeBron's absence number one overall three times out of four years. They were so bad that they drafted Anthony Bennett number one overall and somehow survived it because they also got Kyrie Irving and Wiggins, which turned into Kevin Love. That's what happened. Any illusion or delusion that Dan Gilbert has that he has anything to do with the Cavs' success is absurd. The Cavs' success, the entire franchise, what LeBron James, 100%. Dan Gilbert, 0%. The only thing he's done is gotten in his own way when LeBron is gone. The worst record in basketball.